my music up, please. Now you people have an Italian champion to cheer for. I'm still the Pavarotti of hard shots to the body. The pies on is going going on. That's why right, Italian guy from that time. Hey, dude, people, the Big Vito brand coming to you live, baby, live. How are you doing, everybody? This is Big Vito LaGrasso, sitting here with my producer, Noel Harlow. I hope everybody's going to enjoy this match. It's an NWE match from April 19, 2008. Noel, how are you doing today? I'm very good, Vito. Look at you with your dress. You look very good there. Tough always, and determined. I always look good in a dress. I'm always determined in a dress, and I always get my way. Well, today we have a match with John Heidenreich, one of my good buddies in the NWE and outside of the ring. You know, John is a kind-hearted guy, you know. And uh, the one thing about John is he has a lot of intensity. He's very, like, you know, he's very into his character, very into wrestling. Uh, on this particular match, I know a lot of people have asked me some questions. It says, you know, what happened in this match? Why was it so one-sided? And, um, well... John had some travel problems, and uh, he was just coming from a day layover somewhere, I don't remember where, and uh, I guess uh, just on this day, his, just, his, his mind wasn't in the game, it doesn't take away anything, everybody has a bad day, everybody's, you know, trying to get their, their game Ow. on, and uh, you know, the match starts here, and I'm, you know, on the attack. Um, I love when you do matches overseas and they call you El Grande Vito. <laughs> I always love to hear when they say that. El Grande Vito. Yeah, he he looks like he's tired in this match, and you can see he's bruised up on his upper part of his torso. If you see, he looks like he has a terror of pool. Yeah, it was uh, pretty much uh, John was a little out of it on this day, and, um, you know, the uh, officer told me, you know, make this a quick match, uh, you know, just uh, try to get through this as best as possible, and as you can see, I'm working hard, I'm working determined, and um, I'm trying to do the best I can, and it's, I mean, it's not your typical veto in a dress match, it's just something where, I guess where we always talk about the code, you always take care of the guys, you always take care of people in the wrestling business. And I'm doing my best to take care of one of my brothers here. And um, as you can see, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm this bringing is, it to him. This is definitely not a regular veto match uh, in a dress because usually veto matches in a dress are fun and dancing and things like that. Although when you first started doing the dress, you were very determined because the gimmick was you were fighting people that were judging you for wearing a dress and they had vignettes in the locker room where you lost all your friends um now yeah. we're getting a little bit of the dress activity in but not not the same veto in a dress yeah it's just he's kind of lost here and you know i'm doing everything possible to get out of as quick as possible like i said guys and as you can see backdrop and uh and that's it yeah, you can see him talk. You talking to him? He's really, he's really out, out of it. And uh, you know, at this point, it was just one of those things where you just, you know, you come, you do, and you take care of business and leave. So I guess as far as that goes, that's the end of that match. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on Sound Bites. Big Vito is now available for ads and endorsements. Do you have a store, an event, a wrestling fed? Do you want Big Vito to cut a promo on you? He is available now in our own studio, so you don't have to pay trans. You can contact us through social media at the Big Vito brand, or you can contact us at Big Vito brand at bigvitobrand.com.